The name influenza comes from the Italian word for influence. It goes back to the 1500s when people didn't know what caused these epidemics of coughing and headache and muscle ache and death. Nobody knew about viruses. So people believed that their health was being determined by the stars and the influence of the stars on our bodies. And now we know it's not stars, it's something even stranger, which is viruses. All influenza viruses that we know of came originally from wild bird viruses. And not just any wild birds, but birds that are considered to be waterfowl, like ducks and geese, or shore birds. And these birds are the what we call the reservoirs of influenza. There are billions and billions of these birds in the world. Many of them migrate, and influenza viruses circulate in them all the time on an ongoing basis. And by and large, these viruses don't harm these birds. Yeah. This area is my pole. It is the uh, area that wild bird stay. They are here to collect fecal sample from the wild bird. It's a program that we can uh, monitor if there are any influenza virus in the birds. There's many birds um, fly from different countries during the seasonal change. They arrive Hong Kong, maybe carry the virus. These birds are by nature migratory species. They move uh, to a place like Maipo in Hong Kong in the winter months, and then they go back up north in the summer months. And so you basically have a, a, a way in which these viruses can be moved. Uh, north and south and east and west. It is important to keep track of these viruses out there in nature. So we are trying to anticipate what influenza viruses can pose pandemic threats for the future. So this proactive surveillance helps us to try to keep one step ahead of this virus.